vlogmas today we are up and ready and we are i'm getting ready to feed let me turn my light on it's very cloudy again we're getting ready to feed this little screamer are you being a screamer huh you are just angry are you being angry hmm do you want to be nice say i will if you give me a bottle so anyways I've gotten a whole lot of nothing done today except oh, for making. Think that goes inside the little. Okay. Where is it, honey? It's right there. Uh, Maddie's making a bottle for me, and I've done a whole lot of nothing except for make some um, bagel dough. Make some more bagels. I gotta get this hair out of my eye. So yesterday's bagel experiment was a huge success. It was um, delicious, and everybody loved them. So. That's going to be added into our rotation um, for like breakfast and snacks. And I love the fact that we make it from scratch so there's no preservatives and all that stuff in it. So even if I could make them up and freeze them, that would be a good option for uh, bulk. Get down, woman. Um, bulk cooking. So anyway. That's what I've done today. We have a lot of picking up to do, homeschooling to do, same things, different day. Um, it's like super cold again today, which is kind of nice and cozy. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else is going on? I have yet to edit, so that's got to happen soon. Yeah. But we're going to see if I can get him down for a nap. And then, oh, I wanted to show you guys one more thing. No, not you. Uh, one more thing. We, I picked up yesterday. I stopped by the Goodwill on the way home because I'm still, you know, going in there like a few times a week to see if they have furniture. But I didn't find the furniture I was looking for, but I was actually had my eyes open, as I told you guys yesterday or day before for the schoolroom, some more little shelves. And I found some, and they're actually not terrible. So here they are, found these little bookshelves. They were $6.99 each, and it's the perfect place for the record player. And I have my old books up here, which I love, and our little Winnie the Pooh bookend. So anyway, really excited, and I also found these um, very old books. Uh, there as well yesterday. So anyway, it was a, a successful little trip to the Goodwill. And I'm super excited to turn my bookshelves into more of actual bookshelves. So these will put our puzzles and um, other things on so we can free up a little bit of space for more books. Okay. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh. We can't find his passies. Oh. Say I'm just so unhappy. He's almost got teeth. He almost has two teeth. Almost. Yeah. Alright you guys, so we've been working on our bagels, taking care of fussy little man. He slept for like, oh, 10 or 15 minutes and now he's up. Thanks to teething. Um, but bagels are in the oven again. Um, and then now, the kids are getting ready to do some chores. Who's calling me? I don't know who that is. You're just going to ignore it. Um, the kids are going to do some chores, and I am preparing for our little hot cocoa, possibly Polar Express or Trans-Siberian Orchestra party tomorrow night. We're just going to do a little fun, festive activity with the kids. Um, Jimmy and I have always enjoyed going to the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. We've done it several years. They're not doing, of course, the in-person thing this year. But they do have like a streaming event you can purchase. So we had talked about buying that and um, getting, uh, doing that for our little party. We did end up buying, um, the dishwasher's clean by the way. We did end up buying um, a surround sound for him for his Christmas present. He's been wanting a surround sound. So we got that last night and hopefully that will help make the whole experience even better. So I am going to 
try to get out all of our nice crystal and for a little hot cocoa party. So um, I've got to get to the store today. That is on my to-do list for stuff for the hot cocoa. We're gonna do like whip topping, peppermint sticks, marshmallows, chocolate chips, just about anything that I can think of that could go in hot chocolate. Yeah, but, uh, right? Yes. So that will be so much fun. And um, so that's kind of up there on my priority list. And I'm just gonna show you guys some of the crystal that I have. So um, these are just like little pieces that I've picked up at thrift stores along the way. Really gorgeous. Fun for little tea parties and such. There's that piece. And then I have these little bowls, dishes over here. And then I have our little glass pitcher here that we'll put some drink in, uh, like lemonade or water or whatever. And then I also picked up a few um, little plates for some goodies, maybe some cookies or other dessert. Yummy, Yummy huh? Guys, yeah. I saw some like YouTube videos. If you like, um, so you can take like chicken wings or something or like something that has bones and you can like clean it off and then you uh take like melted chocolate or something take the clean bones and then the bones you can dip it in chocolate like five times and, and then you have like <laughs> have a like a popsicle yeah. like a chocolate sucker or something that would be fun all right so anyway we have some cleaning up to do and then i will see you guys in just a few minutes it's the north pole dance party is it a North Pole dance party? Polar Express dance party? We got the music blasting. I'm motivating them to clean. <laughs> I was organizing the schoolroom a little bit. And then of course, the toddler needed mom, and then the baby needed mom. Let me turn the volume down. So here we are. Now we're just dancing and not getting the organiza organization done. <laughs> that's all right. See, that's all right. That's all right. Mom has done a lot of tending to children today. But isn't that the most important thing, right? But. I got a little bit done, so I'll show you. All right, so I've got that done there. What's the question? So I decided to do a little holiday craft with the kids. Um, yeah, we can decorate them for tomorrow. Yes, so Jimmy uh, has run to the store to pick up some drinks and like I said, today's been a whole lot of non-productive. But I finally got Samuel down for a nap. And so um, we're going to make these little, these are like toilet paper roll characters. And it looked so much fun. I got this little kit at Hobby Lobby. It was half off. So right now we're gluing these little toilet paper rolls with cardstock. And then we get to decorate our little characters. And of course, he decided he's gonna scream some more. It's the day of the scream. The day of the scream. But that's all right. This is gonna be a fun little project. All right, the kids did some fun little projects and they turned out super cute. I think these were our friend Faith's. Those are really cute. 
And then up here are Maddie's and Solomon's. Aren't those adorable? And there's still some more left, which is nice. It came with a whole lot, so that was fun. Fed the baby, and now Dad's back with some food. So we're gonna do sandwiches for dinner tonight. And that will just have to do. All right, you guys, I have been busy organizing the schoolroom. I haven't even edited yesterday's vlog because I just wanted to get this done so badly today. And it's, I've told you like in every clip that it's been a difficult day with the baby. So I took quite a bit of a break from uh, filming. But anyway, I kind of have been working in here in the schoolroom, And so I thought I would show you guys what I got done today because after this i'm gonna have to close out the vlog and go edit so anyways this is the progress um in the schoolroom today all right so i moved our carts to here and kind of purged and organized that shelf right there and that now has just the um like their pens and pencils and we have our printer here right underneath our whiteboard and I did take everything off the bookshelves and reorganize those. I ended up putting all the puzzles um, on these new shelves here. And then on top of these, I put all of our old, like super old books up here. Well, Faith um, gave us... That one right there? Yeah. This cool one. Yeah. So we have our really old books up here, which I love, with our record player. Yeah. And uh, so there's a bunch of things in here that my mom's going to show you guys. And so, uh. All right. So um, this shelf right here, I moved most of our curriculum. On the top is the Play-Doh that I try to keep out of reach of the kids. And then um, I just went ahead and moved our curriculum over to this one shelf right here. And it pretty much, it did a good job of holding most of it. And then that way I could use the bookshelves for, you know, the actual books and not text. So, um, I'm not going to go through all of it, but I'm just going to kind of slowly give you a look. A lot of it is kids books. Like most of it is the kids books and, um, in just a second. And then I will be moving some more of our books on here, but... Um, I do have that shelf, that shelf, and then that shelf, which is our Bibles and a few fiction books, but not a ton. And then I'm still working on this section right here. These will be moved. Um, I'm not sure if that stuff will stay down there, but this will also be filled. But I'm saving this section mostly for adult fiction um, and nonfiction. So... The adult book collection will go there. And then over here I have um, kind of the paper folders. Um, I did put a little bit more curriculum. The five in a row curriculum boxes here. Um, the dictionary thesaurus um, there. And just some of, some of the supplies. And then the bins that I always keep extras of like the crayons and pencils and color pencils. And then um, up here is, of course, more of the same and stuff I don't want the kids to get into. And way up here is stuff that they really should not be touching, which is like my Sharpies, my good pens, extra supplies, extra pencils, um, like paint, uh, my mild liners, and stuff I don't want them getting into at all. So that is pretty much the gist of the schoolroom. Yeah, and so... Solomon. So we made these like little crafts while my friend was here, and there's some up there that she made, and and I made a Santa one and a little snowman one. Those are so cute. Yeah, and um, this arm accidentally fell off, so I had to glue it back just now. But I really like them. Mm -hmm. They're really cute. And then I'll show you the other ones up here. I'll put this chair back. I can't wobble this because there's crystals growing. Mm -hmm. So this one my friend's working on. And um, there's red cheeks on that one because um, I couldn't find like these kind of cheeks. That's all right. Yeah, and then there's some up here that we can make. Like they're just like rolls. And then this one I think my friend face made. 
Very cute. And then this one she made. That turned out really cute, didn't it? Yes. And he is hanging out with us in here. <laughs> hey, Sam. <laughs> hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. They're going to think I'm telling a story on you about you being fussy. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> All right, you guys. I guess that is going to do it for today. I will see you guys again tomorrow morning. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And be sure to hit that like button and leave me a comment down below. And if you're not subscribed, we would love to have you as a subscriber here. We are going to continue after Vlogmas doing, I don't know if we'll do uh, daily vlogs, but we'll do regular vlogs. So, um, and some other videos as well. But I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye! Bye.